Welcome back to Project Integra. Today I'm going to be reviewing my Integra Type R Recaros and there's pros and cons to this so I know there's no other videos on YouTube like this or if there are please link them to me so I can watch them too. But this is for uh, people who have a Honda or whatever type of car. Specifically, I'm specifically talking to the Honda guys out there. Come on, I have a Honda. So if you have a Honda and you want to buy some Recaros, please watch this video because what you're about to do is either going to make you happy or piss you off. So I want to start things off by talking about how much the seats cost me personally. Now I went all the way down to uh, Virginia JDM Motors and uh, it cost me about $650 for the seats and I paid cash so there was no tax or anything so it's just $650 flat. And that's kind of expensive for worn seats. Uh, yeah, they were worn, but there's not really a lot of seats like this in my area and I'd probably have to go to, you know, H Motors online and spend the extra two to three hundred dollars to get fresh, quality, clean seats. And that is not why I bought the seats. I'm not looking for the clean look or, you know, I'm not all about that. I'm just trying to get something that'll work for me. So I just got these because I know what they can do and it's going to work out for me when it comes time to take this car to the track. So. I want to talk about the pros first about this car. I have it all on this little document so I don't ramble on like I usually do. So first off, uh, they're comfortable. Now this is kind of uh, kind of controversial because depending on how big you are or how small you are, are is definitely going to determine if these are comfortable or not. Now my thighs are a little bigger than normal so uh, I don't really have as much, you know, room. Uh, <laughs> so. That's kind of a downer, but I kind of just got over it over time. Um, so if you're smaller than me, I'm about 5'11", 170 pounds. If you're smaller than me, then you're probably going to love these seats. If you're any bigger than me, then that's kind of like pushing it. Um, these seats are also made out of a material called Alcantara, or whatever it's called. I don't even know how to pronounce it. And it's like a high quality uh, suede, so they get dirty really easily. But they feel great so like this all is made out of canvas and then this is all of the high quality suede i was talking about all, all of this and even this too this black part i actually thought was plastic or like some yes like hard hard plastic in videos but it's actually like like cloth it's, it's weird really weird also um the seats are good because they keep you in place you know, when you buy racing seats, you want to buy seats that are going to keep you in place so you're not swaying all over the place when you're taking turns. I want to talk about the cons of Recaros. <laughs> because to me, uh, it seems like I have more cons here than I do pros, so I guess I don't like the seats very much. But yeah, you know, who cares? So the first con I have is they're kind of expensive. For $650, I could have got a brand new you know, brand new set of probably Sparkos or something like that. And yeah, I, I could have went with Sparkos, I think. Maybe had to get some seat rails or something like that. But it'd still be cheaper than getting these used, worn seats. Especially this one, which doesn't really look nice when you get all up close on it. But that's kind of like every single set of Recaros out there. Most of the sets of Recaros you'll see, when you see them in person, they're not going to really look that well. But when you see them on video like this, they look phenomenal. So... That's kind of like a con for me. Another con is a lot of people think that these seats probably are either lighter or about the same weight as stock seats. No. They're actually way more than the stock seats. Probably I think these are about maybe 30, 25 to 30 pounds and the stock seats probably about 10 to 15 pounds. So they're, they're kind of heavier. Like when you pick this seat up, you're definitely going to notice the difference between this seat and the stock seat. So just make sure you think about that before you buy Recaros. If you're really trying to save weight here, just buy some other set of just buy another set of you know seats. Come on, come on, don't be that kind. Another uh, count I have is like I said, if you're bigger than me, you're gonna hate these seats. The bolsters really keep your legs in place. These top bolsters really keep your shoulders in place. So if you're any bigger than me, if you have broad shoulders, this this car is not. I mean, not this car. These seats are not for you. You probably want to get a you know a seat aftermarket seat that fits for you uh, also the last thing that everybody on the internet talks about is it is a pain to get out of this car when you buy these seats you want 
to keep them as clean as possible because you like Recaro's, you like to keep your stuff clean, of course. Or, you know, you just dirty them up and just say, ah, I don't care. But most people will say, yeah, I want to keep these seats as clean as possible. So, the only way to get out of your car is to get out like something's wrong with you and try not to mess up the bolster like the other person did who first owned this car. These, why do I keep saying this car? The first person that owned these seats will always most likely mess up the driver's side um, seat right here on the bottom bolster. And then there'll be scuff marks all right here on this portion of the seat. I'll even show you right now. It always looks like this. See? Look at that. Oh, manual focus. Look at that. Like, why? Why couldn't you just take the time to just get out of the vehicle, man? Look what you did. Look what you did. You ruined it. So if you guys are curious on what I meant by how it's hard to get out of the car, is these two bolsters right here. So, what I'm trying to do is get out of the car without, you know, damaging the bolsters too much or rubbing up against them a lot. So, what I do is hold on here, hold on to the steering wheel, lift up like this, kind of hop out like that. And I have to do that every single day on every single delivery, which I do about 10 to 20 deliveries a night. Gets old real fast. <laughs> it gets old. And then to get in the car, is a little weird too so I have to like hop in like this hold on <sighs> boom that's how you get into the car so I was thinking about getting a quick release but then again I don't want to smack my head on the metal wheel so I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do so I still have my stock seats to show you like how much movement you have in the stock seat versus the Recaro's so this you know the bolsters are really really small so on the track your legs are going to be swaying all over the place like this and you know you don't want that plus your upper bolsters for like the behind like behind your uh, your shoulders I can do all this you know I can I can do my pre-game stretch before you know racing in these seats Macaros you're not doing all this movement right here like you see right here look you can't do that in Recaro's. So these aren't really good. But I do like these because I like to sit upright when I'm uh, driving. And that's another con to Recaro's is like the seat is kind of, you know, far back like this. So let me turn. So Recaro's are kind of like, like a lean back seats like this. And the steering wheel, I have to, my hands are completely straight when I'm driving. And I don't really like that. It's like the way I like to sit is kind of like this, which I don't know if it's, I don't know what's more, what's better to sit, you know, further away or closer to the steering wheel. I'm not sure, but I like to sit as close to the steering wheel as possible. That way, you know, my arms are bent and relaxed and I can turn. I have more confidence in turning. So that's why I like stock seats better. But I don't like stock seats because of the sufficient amount of padding on the bolsters. You know, there, there's no room or I have too much room, I should say, to move so freely. But then again, the stock seats, you know, you're not supposed to be in place in a, in a stock seat. You're supposed to be able to move freely because, you know, it's not a race car. So that's, <laughs> that's why these are stock seats and that's why those are racing seats. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you on Monday.